it's not the result that Donald Trump had been hoping for. His lawyers had argued that the trial should be delayed until 2026, but District Judge Tanya Chutkan refused, saying that Mr Trump will have to juggle his legal defence with his efforts to win the 2024 Republican presidential nomination. But she also declined prosecutors' requests for a trial date on January the 2nd, saying that that was also unacceptable. Instead, Mr Trump's trial will begin on March the 4th, the day before Super Tuesday. That's the day when 16 US states and territories vote for potential presidential nominees. In many court cases, the selection of a trial date is a mundane formality, but with a former president running for re-election next year while facing four criminal prosecutions, the legal timetable has taken on an outsize importance. Will you have adequate time to prepare, sir? One of those cases is in Georgia, where Mr Trump is charged with trying to overturn the results of the presidential election in that state. The mugshot taken helping him to raise millions of dollars for his presidential re-election campaign. On the same day as the hearing in Washington, one of Trump's co-defendants in that case, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, is asking a federal judge in Georgia to take over his case and then to dismiss charges against him. His lawyers say that he was acting as a federal official when he worked with Trump to challenge the 2020 Georgia election results and is thus immune under federal law. But the hearing will also be the first time that substantive arguments will be made in court and it could end up acting as a mini trial that determines the future of Fulton County's case against the former president. It's a precursor to the official arraignments of Mr Trump and his 18 alleged co-conspirators, including his former lawyer Rudy Giuliani, next week. It's not yet clear whether Mr Trump or the co-defendants will actually appear in person. The former president is expected to be the first one to be arraigned at 9.30am on September the 6th when he or his lawyers will be asked to enter a plea to the 13 felony charges he faces. Kate Fisher, CGTN, Washington.